hello, hello, ladies. Hi, Amber. Hi, Mary. Hi, Sandra. Uh, let me uh, tag. I don't know if I can do it on my phone. Well, I might be able to. Marky. Hello, Miss Claudina. How is everyone doing today? I hope y'all are enjoying your Memorial Day. I won't keep y'all on here for too long. Can someone give me a thumbs up, please, to let me know that you can hear me? Thank you, ladies. All right, so thank you, ladies. So for the, I said I was gonna do this during the last two lives and I forgot. Hey, hey, Lisa. I forgot. And Miss, Miss Margie asked for a quick uh, demo and I forgot to do it, so I'm going to jump on here real quick and show y'all. It's really, really simple. Really nothing to it. Um, it doesn't work with all glitters, especially like with darker ones. I mean, if you were to add blue to that, it's not going to turn purple. But... There are some, some ones that you can use. So I have some of the, the regular cut opal. So I'm just going to pour, because that's all I have left. Just going to pour a tiny bit in there. And let's see what color. Do something bright like uh, raspberry. <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use raspberry for this one. These are, this one, these types of glitters are fun to color because they react with whatever color of alcohol ink you're using. So I'm just putting about, that was five drops. And then just stir it up. And it's going to get clumpy. So just break it up. Just keep stirring it until you've got it all covered. And then you can either... I know, it's such a pretty color. And then you can either lay it out on like a piece of parchment paper. Just kind of spread it out. Use your popsicle stick to kind of break it up and then let it sit and dry. Or if you're, you can put it in one of these little small containers that have the lid to it. You can pour it in there, let it dry. And it will get clumpy. 
So just put the little lid on it and then you can shake it to get it broken up. But there, there's this. And it was dyed with raspberry. So it's this one this one is really fun to play around with this glitter. So let's do another one. Let's do uh let's do it in blue. So let's do, hi Amy, let's do it with Sailboat Blue. That's five drops. And then just stir it. And it's gonna, it's gonna be clumpy but just keep stirring, breaking it up with your stick. Okay, so now we have the same glitter. Dyed two different ways. So just let it dry out. Let it dry out overnight before you put it on your cup. And then you can you put it in a container with a lid like this to break it up more. So there's the same glitter dyed with raspberry and sailboat blue. So it's fun. It's fun to experiment with different colors. All right. So let's say you need, you want to do a beach cup, but you don't have any, um, sand colored glitter you're welcome amber so say you don't have any sand colored glitter so we're just going to pour a little bit in here this one is from heavenly sparkles And it's called Heavenly Sparkles. And I don't know if you can see the sparkles in this or not. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to take some latte. I wish y'all could see the sparkles in this. Five drops. Now it's, you'll see it's, it's going to clump up all in one. But just break it up, keep stirring. It's almost going to look like wet sand.
So there it is. And you can still see every bit of those sparkles. So just let it dry. Put it in your container. I don't know if y'all can see that sparkle now. Put it in a container with a lid and then shake it up to help get it broken up because like I said it looks like wet sand right now but it will go back to normal I don't know I can do that let's see we will use what's the darkest brown Christina is it teakwood or espresso Teakwood, okay, I got both right here, so. I just don't. I'm just using very little glitter right now because I don't want to. <clears throat> okay, so this one is teakwood. That's three drops. Espresso. Okay, I'll do one with teakwood and then I'll do one with espresso. I need a little bit more glitter. I didn't quite add enough. Espresso. This is teakwood. I'll do one with espresso in just a second. All right. Oh, this one's actually really pretty. And you can see all of those sparkles. I love that. All right, so here we are. Here's teakwood. Isn't that pretty? And look at those sparkles. So this one is latte, this one is teakwood, and let's do one with espresso. That's the one y'all say is the darkest. Y'all, if y'all haven't been over to Heavenly Sparkles, y'all need to get some of this. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. Okay, so latte, teakwood. And espresso. So you can tell I haven't used this one for a while. There we go. All right. So don't freak out when you first start, start stirring it. It's gonna look like, like uh, when cat litter clumps up, I guess. It's, you're gonna have just that, well, you're 
color clumps up just like that. But if you just keep stirring it, breaking it up, So I actually think the teak wood came out darker. Do two drops, Christina? Okay. So there is the espresso. And that's teak wood. So teak wood came out darker. Okay. Well, we'll just Yeah, because I had to add more glitter. That's right. Okay, so. Lisa, I'm going to be ordering some more of this. Heavenly Sparkles. <laughs> All right, get a clean stick. Okay, es espresso. One, two, that was two quick drops. Just keep stirring and stirring until it's not clumped up anymore. Marissa, it's Heavenly Sparkles. Alright, so there's the espresso with two drops. Okay, and now teak wood with two drops. I will see if I have the slate. I don't know. All right. Here is the teak wood with two drops. Espresso and teak wood. So if you want it darker, just add more drops. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool, Christina. Yeah, that'd be really cool because you can see a difference. Here's the espresso, the first espresso that I did, and here's the second one. So yeah, you can see a fade. That'd be cool. Yes, ma'am.
Yes, you let it dry, Marissa. Um, let it dry in your in an open container, and then uh, before you before you uh, put it on your cup, just give it a good shake to help break it up. As you can, it's already going back to. It's already going back to normal now. It's looser. But when you first do it, it's going to look like wet sand. So just give it a while to dry. And then it's ready to go. All right. So say you uh, need... Oh, you wanted to try. Let me see if I have... Um... I have gunmetal, but that's a uh, metallic. <clears throat> I don't think I have slate. I think that's one of the ones that was in my order, Christina, that I'm waiting on. I don't think I have slate. But if one of you tries it, show me. I want to see it. I don't have slate. Um... Let's try, let's try with a little bit of, Lisa, do you have Heavenly Sparkles in stock? Because I'm going to have to <laughs> go, go order some more. All right. So I'm going to try it with pitch black. I'm going to do two drops. One, two. Stir. Stab. Okay, good. Just keep stirring, stabbing. Or chopping. Oh, look at those sparkles come out. Wow, those sparkles really show up in the with the black. Okay, there it is with two drops of black. I'm going to add one more drop. So that made it a little bit darker. Let's add one more, two more. So all together that was five drops of alcohol ink that I added in there. And look at those sparkles. So then just let it dry out. Put it in a container. has a lid let it dry out and then right before you get ready to put it on the cup give it a good shake to break it up and 
and it's ready to go. All right, so let's say that you have a, let's say you need green glitter and you don't have any, but you have yellow glitter. <clears throat> then all you would do is take your Oh my goodness. Then all you would do is take your yellow glitter This one is Fresno by Glitter Gang. And take some blue, sailboat blue. We'll start off with a couple of drops. And depending on how green you need it, so now your yellow glitter, now you have green glitter. You want a little darker, just add couple more drops and now you have green glitter so, <clears throat> all right, I'm going to try one more. So just experiment. Like I said, it's not going to work with all glitters. Um, I tried to, um, I tried to do... This isn't the exact one that I used, but I tried to do one that had the big chunky glitters in it and it, it didn't work. So um, just experiment. So um, this one I haven't tried, so we're going to try this. This is Port Townsend from Glitter Gang. And I'm going to add some blue. So let's see. If it'll turn purple. Yep. Sure does. So I tried adding some I tried adding uh, blue alcohol ink to red glitter to see if it would turn purple, but it also could have been the type of glitter that I used. It had, it was, no, no, that's not true, because I tried Reba, which is a fine glitter, 
and it didn't turn purple. So there we go. We got pink glitter and blue alcohol ink. So just experiment with it. Just try different. Obviously your best one is going to be white to make colors, but I mean this is always fun too. Because you know, you know pretty much yellow and blue make green. Blue and pink make purple. I tried the red and blue. Oh, I tried it on red glitter. I didn't try it on blue glitter. Let's try that. <clears throat> I made my own inks, but honestly, I don't use them that much. They're just, um, the, I mean, when I did them, they're not that vibrant, but some people can get them to where they're really nice and vibrant, but to me, they're just not the same as the alcohol ink you can buy. All right, so I tried it with red glitter and adding blue dye, and that didn't work. So let's try blue glitter and adding red dye. All right. It might be because they're both dark colors and it's just not going to show up that well, but we will see. So here's some blue. And then I have, um, I have crimson and I have watermelon. I think crimson might be too dark. Let's try watermelon. And this I'm adding five drops because they're both dark so <clears throat> All right, so let's see if that works. Maybe instead of red. Because as you can see, it's not. It still looks blue. So, some colors it, it'll work with, and some colors it won't. Hello, ladies. Hello, everyone who's joining. We're just, whoops, we're just playing around with, with some glitter. Just experimenting. Purple. I'm trying to make purple. I tried it with red glitter and adding blue dye. And that didn't work. <clears throat> and I tried blue glitter, adding red dye, and that didn't work. So you just have to experiment. Just experiment.
So the lighter colors, it works really good on. But the darker colors, it's just, it's not going to show. So then let's try it this way. Say you need a purple glitter and you don't have any. So let's take some white. And let's add one drop of one drop of blue. And let's add one drop of red. And then we'll see. So we got purple. So then just, if you want it darker, just keep adding, adding more. One drop of blue. And this is sailboat blue. And one drop of watermelon. <laughs> so there's one more color of each or one more drop of each the red and the blue and this glitter that I'm using, if you're just joining, is called Heavenly Sparkles. And she is a vendor in our group, Miss Lisa. Heavenly Sparkles. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Company name, Heavenly Sparkles. Glitter name, Heavenly Sparkles. <clears throat> she posted, uh, I believe she posted a link in the comments here. So just scroll through the comments. And then all the alcohol links that I have, I've gotten from Miss Christina. And she posted a link to her site as well. So you can get your Tim Holtz alcohol links from her. Okay, so is there any other any other ones you want me to try? But that's that's pretty much it. So here's some if you're just joining, here's some sand colored ones that we did. I used some latte, some espresso, some teak wood. This one I used black. These are some irregular cut ones that I did. It's the same glitter, just different colors. <clears throat> some purple. Here's the green I made. This was yellow glitter. Yellow glitter added blue dye and now it's green. This was pink, added blue dye, now it's purple. Okay, so y'all just experiment with, like I said, it's not going to work with every glitter 
<clears throat> especially the darker colored ones. But just experiment with it. Have fun. And don't forget when you, after you've got it all mixed up, you want to let it dry. And then I suggest putting it in a container that has a lid on it because when you first do it, it it looks like wet sand because you're you're adding a liquid to it, so it's going to clump up. So just let it dry and shake it up really good, and then it goes right back to the way it's supposed to be. <clears throat> There's that Heavenly Sparkles dyed with black alcohol ink. Very pretty glitter. This is Heavenly Sparkles dyed with, uh, I believe this one was Latte. This was Heavenly Sparkles, and I believe this one was uh, Espresso. And then Heavenly Sparkles, Heavenly Sparkles mixed with Teakwood. So the lighter you want your color, obviously the less drops you're going to use, the darker you want it. Add more drops. Just make sure that you let it dry out and give it a good shake to break it up before you put it on your cup. Alright ladies, so that is it. Are there any questions? Anything? Alrighty then, well, I'm going to get off of here then. I hope y'all enjoy your Memorial Day. It is raining here, so there's not much going on here. But I hope you enjoy your day, and if y'all try this, I would love to see pictures. So, alright ladies, y'all have a blessed day.